uh, Polymorph will go with a second pick of Bubbles here, so they already have some good AoE crowd control coming out between the Magmas and the Bubbles. We are going to see a support coming out now for Team Tim, going to be the Glacius. Not a hero that we see a whole lot of, but uh, perhaps we could see some comeback of the Frosty Iceman himself onto the competitive scene. They are going to try him out today, and we see an Electrician pickup from Polymorph. So they already snagged themselves three pretty powerful early game uh, team fighting heroes. Um, to start things off, they are right clicking the Moraxis over there. I don't know if they are going to be looking to pick up the Moraxis. And uh, looks like Huge Souls just shadow picking every strength hero he can get his mouse button on. As they do end up going with the Behemoth. So we are going to see some Behemoth. Pretty exciting hero for the viewers at least. Hoping to see some massive shockwaves come out from the behemoth. Um, one thing I will say though is that there is a bit of a, la uh, a there is a bit of lacking in the damage department coming out so far from Team Tim. So I think it's safe to say their last two picks definitely need to be some heavy damage oriented heroes to follow up um, a lot of this early game. Um, with the lockdown of both the Behemoth and the Glacier. It's going to be interesting to see whether we see a core Kinesis or a core Behemoth, as we already do have the main support Glacius picked up. Right now, it's almost looking like we're going to see a core Kinesis, but I think it's uh, almost 50-50 that it could be either one. Whereas on the Legion side, they have not really picked up a hard support yet. Unless they are going to decide to run Magmus as a hard support, which isn't out of the question, but you typically see Magmus played in more of a position 4 or position 3 style of role. And that seeing as how they already have the Bubbles and the Electrician picked up, they do go ahead and pick up a support option in the Nymphora. So just to quickly go over the bands, we have Arachna, Puppet Master, and Sir Benzington, banned out by Polymorph. Um, some of these very strong laning and potential tri-lane carries in both the Puppet and the Benzington. We see the Engineer, the Chipper, and the Swiftblade get banned out by Team Tim. So the combination Magmus secondary support burst style of heroes. Um, as well as the Swiftblade, which does lead me to believe that they are drafting um, to go with a tri-lane setup. As uh, they are getting rid of the Swiftblade. Uh, possibility from Polymorph. Now they do respond with a fourth pick of Valkyrie. So again, that kind of fits the theme that I'm seeing here of the tri-lane possibility um, with something like that Behemoth and the uh, Glacius. But um, with the Valkyrie, they will most likely pick up another um, mid-game slash semi-carry styling core to complement the Valkyrie. Um, because if they do decide to run a one-roll Valkyrie, it will uh, put them on a timer that they will have to end the game pretty early. And we do see Zephyr coming out from Polymorph. So they are kind of matching this um, early game lineup that Team Tim is building as well. They're going to go with the Zephyr. And it's safe to say they want to get him snowballing and very tanky early on so that it's hard for them to deal with him and there's the second core that i was talking about they pick up the riptide which uh that will most likely go to huge soul in the mid lane and then i think we are going to see ha 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 on the valkyrie in the tri lane and they're swapping the behemoth over to imbu boy so i believe we're going to see a position three behemoth this game which um i think i like the fact that they're putting core on the behemoth and not the kinesis um, because both these heroes can roam quite equally good however kinesis or behemoth excuse me is just a little tad more um, impactful once he gets his core item being the portal key so getting the portal key a little bit faster on the behemoth should benefit them greatly this match and right off the bat we see polymorph going as five toward the bottom lane they are looking to 
secure their short lane, but also potentially set up a bloodless kill. As uh, we see, Zephyr already skill his Cyclone, so no Gust possibility coming out there. But they do have lots of lockdown on the other heroes, <clears throat> so they perhaps won't need Gust for a bloodless kill. They are sending the Kinesis with the Behemoth, so this is going to be a duo offlane, Behemoth and Kinesis. They have Glacius and Valkyrie in the short lane, and Riptide going to be going in the mid lane. It looks like we're going to see... Um, well, Zanuki is playing the Electrician, but he could very well go to the top lane. As we have seen, Polymark switch up their lane setups from time to time, but Bubbles looks like he's buying off lane items. Uh, Magmus also starts with a power supply and a buckler, so he will be playing the secondary support this game. Looks like they're going to run the Bubbles Magmus duo off lane. A very, I'll call it slippery long lane. Um, they are going to need the levels and the experience before they um, really become threatening for any kind of kills. But going up against both a Glacius and a Valkyrie, pretty squishy uh, ranged heroes. Safe to say, once they get the level 2s, the level 3s, the window of kill opportunity does start to present itself um, in the top lane. So we are going to see an Electrician versus a Riptide matchup in the mid lane. Um, this should be, for the most part, a um, farm trading lane. However, I think in the early levels I give the advantage to Electrician and also any rotations that come from the Legion side a little bit easier to set up kills on the Riptide because um, they do have quite good lockdown um, with the Magnus and the Electrician specifically. So bot lane we see Nymphora and Zephyr going to be matching up against the Behemoth Kinesis and I actually really like this lane because they have so much sustain with the Nymphora Volatile Pod as well as the Cyclones as he keeps getting the last hits healing him up. So I do feel like the Behemoth and the Kinesis will struggle to net any kills in this lane however their goal is going to be to get some decent farm on the Behemoth and uh, you do need to be careful because Behemoth farming on top of the Zephyr does take a lot of damage and if they get caught with a stun into Pod and a Gust back that could be a kill because neither of these heroes have any escapes so a little bit tankier on the side of Legion. We already see Legion off to a slight lead and uh, Electrician 8-1 and one in the mid lane early on against the 6-0 and o Riptide. It's having a slight edge in the mid lane thus far. Top lane we have a 7 and 2 bubbles against a 6 and 0 Valkyrie. So the long lane causing a little bit of disruption here. <clears throat> mid lane Riptide taking a lot of pressure. He skips his undertow for now. Has two points in the in my element and one in the watery grave. So he picks up the early iron shield. He's going to not opt for going for a bottle, whereas Electrician has his bottle two minutes in. He's going to get himself a Mystic Rune, so he is off to a fantastic start so far. Uh, Behemoth is sitting on 266 gold per minute, 11 and 2 against the 8 and 1 Zephyr, so Behemoth actually having a better time here. Gus comes back onto Kinesis. The Fissure actually doesn't block Zephyr off and that will be the difference maker as Nymphora gets credit for the bloodless kill in the bottom lane and uh, this is what I talked about the um, sustain is just very high for both Nymphora and Zephyr and um, they need to be very careful on the side of Hellborn of getting gusted into a stun in a pod. Nymph gonna take some heavy pressure here but not gonna be uh, threatened for a kill so top lane, we do have the level 3s coming out from both Magmus and Bubbles. And uh, Bubbles skipping his take cover for now. It's safe to say they want to play aggressive. Magmus going to Lava Surgeon. Here comes the Shell Surf, Song of the Sea. Puts a lot of pressure onto Valkyrie, but most likely will not result in a bloodless kill. Magmus is going to tank some tower here. He's going to get arrowed in the tower as well, and he will go down. So Magmus oversteps his boundaries as he was hoping the cooldown of Lava Surge would come back up sooner, but the uh, extra damage there from the tower resulting in a kill in exchange, uh, instead. 
And uh, good capitalization there by Team Tim up in the top lane. Four minute rune is spawning now. Riptide going to pre rune the top one as he hopes to stop Znuki from getting a rune, but he is not fortunate enough. And a regen rune spawns for Electrician as he is 390 gold per minute, four minutes in. That has got to be close to near perfect creep farm as he is 29 and 4. Uh, bottom lane, we actually see a dive coming out from Zephyr, but Nymphora needed to mana herself. Here comes a grip. A lot of pressure coming out. He is actually choosing to max his electric shield on that electrician, so putting out lots of AoE damage on top of the grip. And uh, Riptide still only doing 19 and 2, so not doing the poorest, but 100 GPM behind electrician so far. Grip comes out. Now he's doing this with a regen rune, so he's trying to put as much pressure as he can as I miss a kill in the top lane. They get the kill onto Glacius. The uh, level 2 now, Song of the Sea. Shell Surf with the Lava Surge. Too much damage for Glacius to handle. They're going for a dive onto Valkyrie here. Leap comes out from Valkyrie. Lava Surge from Magnus onto Valk. Here comes the Song of the Sea. Auto attack to finish, and Bubbles gets a double tap in the top lane. And they're starting to get to the point where they deal too much damage. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, they get the kill onto Zephyr, and Nymphora almost falls as well. So it looks like both the long lanes are starting to get to that point where they are threatening the kills onto both sides. Um, Nymph going to go in with a zeal stun here, but without mana for the pod, that will not be enough for a kill. So we see just a slight golden experience lead so far for Legion. And um, it's mostly even in terms of the GPM, just different lanes doing well in different aspects. Mid lane going well for Polymorph, long lane going well for um, Team Tim, and the short lane doing a little bit better as well for Team Tim. But the supports having a little bit more GPM on the side of Polymorph. Nymph with almost 200 GPM with that one kill. Now Magnus has now rotated into the mid lane. He might go for a stun here on the catapult, but Riptide knows something is up. This is without vision, just a good missing call. Understanding the Magnus is not showing from top lane. So heads up play coming out from Riptide there to avoid a Magnus rotation. Some tree throws coming out from Kinesis in the bot lane. He might get gusted back here, actually. There it goes. Here comes the Zeal stun. Behemoth going to line up a two-man Fissure stun. Volatile Pod is going to connect for some pretty solid damage, but not enough for a kill. And Kinesis' health potions back up to above half life. Behemoth is uh, level 5 now. Once he hits that level 6 mark, could be some blood on the side of the Legion. Top lane, they are almost pushing the tier 1 tower as uh, Valkyrie was forced to, looks like, port to base. So, both the uh, mid and top lanes are not doing as expected for Team Tim. Bot lane, we see a kill onto Nymphora. Uh, Typhoon was down. I missed that completely, but I think there was some outplays coming here as. Uh, Neither of these heroes can really escape from a Typhoon. So Zephyr unfortunately not able to lock them down in his Typhoon. Top tower did fall in favor of Polymorph, so that increases their gold lead now to 2,000 and change. And Electrician just continues to have his way here in the mid lane. Picks up the Sorcery Boots and... A nice regen steal coming out from Kinesis, and Electrician is the one who's going to be in trouble. Fissure will be removed. Riptide comes in with the Watery Grave, and true power comes out from Behemoth. Gotta say, I'm not sure if that was necessary, but they secure the kill, and it ends up making Zanuki salty, so hashtag worth. And even with that death, he is still the top farmer in the game. As I say that, Bubbles overtakes him sitting at 350. But yeah, Bubbles 42-5 and five here up in the top lane. He has some fantastic creep score. 
going up against the 39 and 4 Valkyrie. Electrician ports into the top lane. Here comes a Kelfield into a grip onto the Glacius, and Glacius will fall uh, as Valkyrie is not able to assist for uh, a counter kill. The level sixes are now coming out from the Hellborn side. Kinesis has Stasis Smash, and Valkyrie has her Prism ready to go. Behemoth uh, getting tickled there by the stun and the gust. Magmus in the mid lane. A big dive coming out from Polymorph. <coughs> TP from the Glacius. Here comes an eruption from Magmus. It's going to get not interrupted, but an arrow from Valkyrie. She uses her Prism Electrician. Throws out the grip onto Riptide. He's trying to make his escape, but here comes Bubbles with the Shell Surf Song of the Sea, hitting on multiple targets. Does not have a kill field for 45 more seconds. Meanwhile, Magmus got taken out by the Kinesis. Jason Smash in the Bot River, and we have a big Team Fight Bruin. Grip comes out onto Kinesis into the uh, Zeal Sun, but it ends up being Bubbles who goes down as he doesn't have his Shell Surf up. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it ends up being a two for nothing in favor of Team Tim as uh, I think the Valkyrie Prism causing a lot of disruption there for Polymorph as well as them not having the Zephyr um, poured into the mid lane. Double damage up on the Behemoth. Riptide ports in. True Power comes out yet again and that DD with the uh, Enrage auto attack smashing Zephyr to the ground. As he now falls for the second time. And so Behemoth, he picks up early Ghost Marchers. Man, he has farmed 360 gold per minute. He even overtakes uh, Electrician in GPM. Tree throws coming in from Kinesis. He gusts him back. Hamath does not have a fissure for four more seconds. If he had the fissure, that could have been a kill on the Nymphora. Here comes the Stasis Smash into the Valkyrie arrow. Behemoth, he's going to tank some tower. <coughs> the Enrage comes out at the end there. We get another kill onto Zephyr as he is now 0 and 3 and nymph ports out of the bottom lane meanwhile mid lane riptide activates the uh perfect storm but here comes magmus with a lava search to follow up that grip and they get the kill onto riptide now the prism is used and they are here setting up on the glacius and the arrow is going to miss onto a creep and that could be the difference maker as grip comes out on the glacius here comes the kel field onto two song of the sea onto kinesis behemoth is now ported in but he does not have a shockwave for 35 more seconds kinesis gets a power supply up the tower is denied here by valkyrie and both sides are not going to lose anybody at least just yet shell surf is going to go in bubbles does not have take cover as he has level three in song of the sea Valkyrie does leap away. Magmus has a has already used his lava surge, and neither side will find the catch. Kinesis comes in very aggressively, and he goes down as Bubbles snipes him out with the silence. Magmus going to uh, continue this fight potentially. He is now in a very aggressive flank position, but uh, the rest of the team is not um, interested. Here in fighting. In the bot lane, Zephyr is pushing the tier 1 tower. It looks like nobody will defend that, and it will go down in favor of Polymorph. Corruption gets channeled from the trees in the top lane. They take down the Valkyrie, and Galatius could be the next one to fall. One more auto attack from Bubbles will do it, and it's the B team, says Mexicano Boy, as he is now a serial killer. And Polymorph jumps out to a 5,000 gold lead now, 13 minutes in. Grip comes out in the mid lane, but there is no team support here. Counter Grip coming out from Kinesis into the Stasis Smash, and this could be a dead electrician. He gets healed, 
the last second by Nymphora. He's tanking everything that he can. Here comes a lava surge from Magmus as the game is going crazy in terms of lag. And what is going to happen here as Riptide dies? I believe Magmus, uh, Magmus got the kill, yep, and now Kinesis is trying to get the counter kill here on Electrician, but I think he's too tanky with the shield and the gnomes picked up. Let's get the ball rolling. Kinesis could be in trouble as Bubbles is actually coming. Over from the top lane, a grip comes out onto Kinesis. He gets the regen, but Magma should be in range here for a Lava Surge, and that should be a kill. I think they're just trying to not use uh, Magmus's Lava Surge. I believe he had that the whole time if he chose to power supply. Behemoth uses the shockwave here in the bot lane. He gets the tower uh, killed from the creeps, but he should go down to the cyclones of Zephyr. You could argue that that was possibly worth it as he got the tower. Um, but now Bubbles, Electrician, and even Zephyr are starting to get to a very solid point. Zephyr, the most notable one, recovering in terms of GPM. So he's getting closer to 400. Bubbles picks up the spell shards, um, follow up some build up items. And Magmus already has a portal key. This is a secondary support Magmus sitting on 212 GPM. Honestly, don't know how he does it, but he has a very early portal key. Behemoth, speaking of portal keys, also has this. He is currently in the bottom lane as. Electrician and Zephyr collapse in the Hellborn jungle to take out Glacius. Perfect Storm comes out, and uh, not sure if Riptide is uh, <clears throat> interested in setting up a kill here. Looks like he's gonna try to get himself the bottom rune. Behemoth is Veiled Rotted here in the bot river. Making his way toward mid. It looks like they want to take a fight and potentially kill this Sephir. It is only a level 1 shockwave, however. Trishan, meanwhile, he's going to bottle himself up an Invis rune. Looks like he's going for the uh, Frostfield plate. Um, should be a Frostfield plate. Lava Surge onto Kinesis here. Counter stun from Behemoth into the Enrage with the portal key. And Kinesis will actually get off a Lava Surge. He will go down, but gets some good return pressure coming off. In the end, Magmus ends up dying to neutrals. Bubbles putting the return pressure here onto Behemoth, but Portal Key is coming up now for Behemoth, so Bubbles needs to be careful here of showing himself. As top lane, it looks like Glacius died to Electrician, so Glaci Glacius is not having a very good game here. Behemoth, he's getting out by <coughs> polymorph as um, I don't think that was a kill field actually that was just they used the typhoon maybe the nymph caught him out with a teleport teleporting Zephyr in here comes a prism from Valkyrie they are flanking with the riptide arrow is going to connect onto Zephyr. Five seconds. Bubbles is going to get healed up by Nymphora. He gets the Shell Surf away, and Bubbles will make the escape. Now the question is, will Zephyr? And it looks like he will not, as he eats that arrow and goes down. Electrician and Magmus are now here. Single stun from the Lava Surge of Magmus. Catches out Riptide, and they might look to pursue some more. Cleansing Shock onto Magmus. Will they chase, though, is the question. Looks like they are um, not interested 
as Behemoth is now uh, respawned. And the uh, threat of the shockwave is there, but as we can see, he still has that on cooldown for another 60 seconds. So in the bot lane, we have Magmus and Nymphora hanging around in the area. Trishan and Bubbles are trying to set up a kill here, but the ports come into the bot lane as Magmus went in with the eruption onto Valkyrie. Looks like Valkyrie was able to avoid death as uh, the Nymph and the Magmus kind of uh, lacking on the damage, only being a level 1 eruption, not the most threatening. Ganesis has failed rotted here in the Legion's jungle, I'm not going to find anything though. So the lead continues to grow for Polymorph. They're sitting on almost 9,000 gold and 10,000 experience lead. Bubbles in the mid lane. Looks like Behemoth will choose not to go for it. So while this was happening, Zephyr working on some of the uh, Hellborn stacks and Electrician pushing the tower. Magmus failed rotted here. The Veiled Rod from Behemoth will break. Looks like they are not comfortable jumping as they do now have a portal key on the bubbles as well. So, bubbles and the Magnus have quite a lot of farm uh, this game. Kinesis, on the other hand, does not have any kind of farm uh, to support the behemoth like Magnus does. And even Nymph, she has an Astrolabe, so she's pretty tanky herself. That is a 20 minute Frostfield plate picked up by Zanuki on the electrician and boy oh boy is he going to be a tanky boy. Not in terms of HP but just in terms of raw armor and magic armor he is a tanky boy. doing some counter pushing here in the bot river not sure he must have bought something as we are 20 minutes in and uh, not sitting on the most impressive GPM but he might get caught here as electrician is making his way downtown but Riptide he might go for the port out here he activates the perfect storm actually decides he is fine as he sees electrician farming the creeps Valkyrie only has an ash uh, pieces of an astrolabe. She's sitting on 2,500 gold though. So I think she's debating what to buy. I think Thunderclaw could be the option here for her, as uh, she would need the 3,000. So she's getting kind of close to that. Bubbles, good silence here by Riptide. Do they have the follow-up? Arrow is sidestepped by Bubbles. Shell serve from Kinesis, and Bubbles gets caught off guard by that Riptide silence, so he goes down. That was an onslaught streak that gives 534 gold over to Valkyrie. That should get her to her farming item. Um, Glacia's gonna get caught out here by Electrician. Magma secures the kill with a Lava Surge. Riptide is just mm, sitting in the water. This is where his home is. Valk is still not buying an item. Almost 4,000 gold. And Valk, I hate to say it, homie, but you might be dying if you stick around a little bit longer. Here comes a Prism. And he actually will be fine. As uh, he avoids certain death. Might actually walk back into them, but there is no reveal here. 
place one, but they are not going to be lucky. Lucky enough to find him. Behemoth picks up a spell shards. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense because they have both a gnomes and a uh, shamans on the zephyr. So that will enhance his uh, shockwave by quite a lot. And at this point they kind of need a big boom I think. Uh, to get them back in the game. So they are slowly and slowly falling further and further behind. As it's now a 10k, 10k lead for Polymorph. Snooky saying hello to the uh, the boss monkey. Riptide goes for Insanitarius. Gotta say, I didn't see that one coming. Not too sure if I like it or not either. Um, doesn't really suit Riptide because he's not a strength hero. Galatius is dead. That is a Spill Shards level 3 on Mr. Turtle. Mr. Plushy Turtle. Um, Staff of the Master was picked up on Valg. Okay. That is not what I was expecting Valk to buy. So neither of their carries or semi-carries were really dealing any kind of physical damage uh, presence. I gotta say even Riptide with an Insanitarius is not super scary. Congor will go down as uh, Snooky tanks a boulder from Kong. He's gonna find the behemoth here. Do they have the follow-up though is the question. If they can get the kill on the behemoth, that is a big pickoff. He will get prismed up by Valkyrie. They get the kill onto Glacius. It ends up costing Magmus his own life. Behemoth actually has a regen rune and this could be really scary now for Polymorph if they find a really good jump here. Riptide jumps in onto Bubbles. The Fissure comes out and Bubbles does go down. There was a buyback up on the Magma, so they want to continue this fight. And Kinesis fell as well as the Glacius, so Team Tim is in full retreat mode now. Valkyrie is going to try to go for the TP on out in the trees. And Frostfield play, I believe that actually missed, so a great juke coming out from Valkyrie to escape the vision there from the Frostfield play. And they will not get any kills with that buyback. So, a little bit of a hasty buyback perhaps from the Magmus, but uh, they do have the Congor buff, I believe, for another minute and 40 seconds. They could look to take out their own Congor. Staff of the Master, by the way, up on Zephyr, so he's got the big, bad Typhoon ready to go. But uh, the team support's not coming in the quickest. Looks like Electrician, he has a haste and, a, and even picks up a portal key. I love the portal key pickup. Um, actually, did he have the portal key before Frostfield? He might have even had that before. I might have just missed it. But either way, he has a portal key and a Frostfield, so he is mucho farmed out. And he has now joined his team for the Congor to help the Birdman tank some damage. And this could be dropping before any kind of resistance comes in. Looks like they maybe know it's happening, but can't defend it at the same time. Zephyr uh, is playing with monitor turned off, unfortunately, as he just tanks arrows um, left and right. So Zephyr might be staffing somebody. But uh, I don't I don't know if I feel like that's the most uh, like I don't feel like he actually needs to staff anyone on his team. He just has the right amount of gold for staff. Might look to invest into. Uh, gee, what does Zephyr buy here? 
think even something like a Dawnbringer, a Shrunken Head is also not the worst, but he does have the Shamans already. True Power comes out onto two. It's not going to be enough for a kill. Pod comes out from Nymphora. Is going to heal up the Magmus. Riptide is going to fall as well. So it ends up being a two for nothing fight as they get caught out of position. Bubbles. They do see him as he took the DD rune. Here comes the Silence and Kinesis will fall. It's a double tap coming out for Valkyrie. Er, uh, double tap coming out for Bubbles as Valkyrie will fall in the top lane to Electrician. So... Polymorph is finding the kills left and right, and that could be a Rex attempt push as the Shockwave was used. They do not have a Shockwave. Valkyrie is going to use a buyback here, but if I'm Polymorph, that buyback on Valk is not the most threatening. He only has a Staff of the Master picked up. He throws an arrow, it doesn't hit, and the tower will fall. Five seconds up on the Behemoth, eight seconds on Kinesis, and 12 on Riptide. They are going to use the Glyph, and now they just need to spread out and knock it. multi stunned by Behemoth. They get the Rax here in the mid lane. They are also now working on the uh, base tower in the top lane as Electrician is tanking away. And Flora are going to throw out a heal. Zephyr is leading the front lines with that token of life. Fissure comes out to kind of disrupt them. Here comes a Stasis Smash onto Bubbles. He will fall. And Zephyr, he is doing some decent damage, but not going to be enough for any kills. They're going to kite him pretty well and take out his token of life. And now Zephyr is in the midst of the fight with Typhoon coming up in seven more seconds. Fissure comes out from Behemoth onto Nymph. One more auto attack. Nymph will go down. Shockwave not up for another 17 more seconds. Here comes the Typhoon going to cut off the Hellborn team as the Prism does come out. Now Behemoth is actually going to survive with 40 life, but they spot him out with detection. Behemoth will fall and the GGs are being called by Team Tim as Polymorph will take the first game of the Scrim series. So, GG to Polymorph. We'll go on a uh, short break here as we get into the next lobby. So uh, hang tight and we will be right back. <laughs> 